Heart, Haunt, Havoc by Freyd's Moon is a unique and interesting story about Colin Hart, a lonely transgender exorcist in Gideon, Colorado, who is put to the test by a wild haunted house. Bishop Martinez owns the house. He is a person who doesn't fit into a single gender, and Colin likes him. Colin is used to simple ghosts, but Bishop's house is like a beacon that draws in all kinds of strange creatures, including a vengeful wolf-headed ghost who might be the key to ending their sleepless nights. As Colin and Bishop are forced to share this space, they both face Bishop's past, which he tried to hide. They also find a closet full of bloody skeletons and end up falling in love by accident. The story has elements of romance, gothic imagery, Catholic mysticism, diaspora, and horror, making it genre fiction of the highest level. Even though romance and sexuality are at the heart of Freyd's other stories, this one is mostly about cleaning up a very haunted house. Romance and sexiness are still a part of it, but what really stands out is how dark this possessed house is and how it changes the characters forever. Freyd's knows that being haunted is, first and foremost, a very personal experience. Hauntings are fears, weaknesses, and traumas that have been made real, made visible to the human eye, and made into something that can be felt, measured, and experienced on a literal level. So, when Bishop invites a stranger into their home, they are really inviting someone else into their trauma, which takes a lot of trust. That's why the relationship between Bishop and Colin feels so strong, they really have to show each other who they are. The Haunted House is a good example of how Bishop and Colin have gotten used to being comfortable with their own pain. Both of them had to make a home in their different traumas, which is where they have to live because that is where their lives started. In the end, this trip to get back the house is a way to clear your mind. It's about Bishop and Colin owning their traumas and not trying to hide them, run away from them, or change them into something they're not. Instead, they need to be strong enough to admit that something is very wrong and that something needs to change if they want to stay alive. In contrast to the dark background of the story, the way the characters interact with each other is a lot of fun. Colin acts like a prim and proper, buttoned up old man, while Bishop is just a grimy, dirty, in-your-face little gremlin who doesn't care about anything. Their new relationship has a cozy, homey feel to it, which is not only a pleasant surprise but also kind of healing. Since they're both learning the truth about each other and putting in the work to really sit with that and call it what it is. Heart, Haunt, Havoc is a creative and interesting story about a haunted house. There are plenty of scary and unsettling parts that will keep me on edge. But the story is also surprising comforting and homey. Throughout this haunting, these characters never stop fighting for themselves or for each other. Not only does this make for interesting stakes as they fight against the evil spirits, but it also sends a strong message about being strong. In the end, Heart, Haunt, Havoc is a memorable romance about digging deep to get your power back in a world that tries to take it away from you.